Good morning kiddos, Miss Aure here. Today is April 14 and this video is for my fourth graders. Today we're going to work on developing our vocabulary. So let's go ahead and get started. About three weeks ago we read this passage and I chose some words that I thought would be important to add to your vocabulary bank. Then two weeks ago we read this passage and again I chose words that I thought would be um, important to add to your vocabulary bank. But the first thing I want to do is to go ahead and review the old vocabulary word and new vocabulary word and rank your knowledge of each of those words. Remember, stage one is you've never seen the word before, which I doubt <laughs> because you all have seen these words. Um, stage two, you've heard of the word, but you don't quite, you don't know what it means. Stage three, you recognize it when you read it and you recognize it when someone's using it in a sentence and you have an idea what it, what it has to do with, but you don't quite have a definition for it. But stage four is when you really know the word very well. You have a definition for it and you can use it in a sentence independently. Now you're going to go ahead and rank your knowledge for um, each word. You're going to rank your knowledge of each of the word that I'm going to show you. Let's see, the first one, indicates. How well do you know that word? One, two, three, or four. Conflict, one, two, three, or four. Social, how well do you know that word? Randomly, interacted, determine, study, results, immune, reaction, sensitive. Now the last three words are word are the three new words from our um, passage about allergies. So these are the three new words. How well do you know our three new words? So before we um, learn about our three new words, I'm going to review our old vocabulary words. So I'd like for you to tell me what word goes with these definitions to point out, to show what someone thinks, to show what needs to be done. And here are the illustrations or photographs. So take a look at the graph, take a look at the, the professor, the doctor actually showing something. When you're showing someone something, you're indicating something. Yep, you indicate something. So the word indicates goes with these definitions and these photographs or pictures. Okay, which word goes with disagreement, fight, argument, or struggle? Yes, conflict. Good. If you said conflict, you're right. What word goes with friendly, community, public, relationship, talking, playing, listening to other humans, hanging out? If you said social, you're right. What word goes with without pattern, not regular, not on purpose? Right? Like rolling a dice. You can't guess that, right? You can't um, predict it. Well, I guess you could get lucky and predict it. Randomly, right? You choose randomly. Working with others, playing a game with others. What word goes with the, those ideas? Interacted. Yep, interacted. Report, investigation, to learn. Remember this? If you said study, you're right. Decide, find out something. Do you remember? Determine, correct. Yeah, if you decide something or you find out something, you've determined it. How about score, turnout, outcome, your grades? If you said results, you're correct. These are new words from um, the allergy article. Resistant to a disease, protected from. 
has to do with the word immune. If you're immune to something, that means you're resisting the disease. You're not letting the disease into your body or you're protected from it. So take a look at this uh, <laughs> an illustration of what would happen if you're immune. Well, you're stopping the germs from entering your body. You can do that by um, either you're naturally immune to something or you could have been vaccinated so that you're immune to it, you're protected from it. Now, germs are not the only thing you, you, you can be immune to. I can be immune to people making fun of me or I can be immune to... Um, criticism, right? Immune to means you're not affected by it. Number one, a feeling or action that shows a response to something. So this definition goes with the word reaction, okay? It's your, your action or your feeling because you're responding to something. So a lot of us know these emojis, right? We put these emojis when we're reacting to someone's text messages or it could also be a chemical reaction you're um, you added something into a pot and now it's boiling over you added something into a chemical and now it's boiling over and we call that a reaction what word goes with easily affected feeling emotions in a strong way you're showing a strong reaction to something in the environment so these definitions go with the word sensitive. So if you're sensitive, you're easily affected or that you're, you're showing your emotions in a strong way. Okay, so for example, you could be um, showing your emotions in a strong way. If you're sensitive, you're, you're upset easily. You can also have sensitive skin, right? You're having a reaction to something in the environment. You can have sensitive teeth. You can have a reaction to something cold in the environment. So it's not just an emo it's not just a feeling. It could also be a reaction to something. All right. So I also ask you to answer some questions about um, the words to use each words in a sentence so that you can practice them. Um, so now I'd like for you to answer these questions. For our new set of words. What was your reaction when you heard schools were closing? What would you like to be immune from? What are you sensitive to? Right? So you may write your answers on a separate sheet of paper, pen and paper is fine, um, and share your answers with your family. I encourage you or an, an I challenge you to actually try to use these words throughout the day. Use them for a couple of days. Um, see how many times you can use these words <laughs> throughout the week. All right. So I hope you learned something new and I hope to see you all soon. Goodbye and good luck.